It was like a million tiny things that when you added them all up, they meant we were supposed to be together. I love you so much to the point that it's nearly impossible to put into words the way I feel about you. And I knew it. I knew it the very first time I touched you. I knew it the very first time I saw you. The calmness in your voice, and the brightness of your smile. I'll never forget the way your eyes sparkled under those Barco lights. I grew more and more certain that those eyes were going to be my future. In good times and in bad, you're always there. It was like coming home, only to a home that I didn't have before. It was perfect and it was real. And it was us. never forget uh, going out to eat with Steph and she told me she had started dating this guy. There was just something different. I mean John is one of the most sweetest kind-hearted people I've ever met in my life. All of you know that Steph and John despite their young age are very accomplished, talented, wonderful people. They also have big generous hearts, as evidenced by John's many mission trips. And Steph worked with me on several Habitat for Humanity projects. And their shared love of their cat, Orly, and also their fish. So John and Stephanie, your prayers have been answered. You've discovered each other, you've fallen in love with one another, and you're married to each other. And we're with you as your family, as your friends, to share in your joy, to offer you our support, and of course to pray for you as you begin this journey together. And it is with great joy that I present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. John and Stephanie Shalaba. Saying all those things, they're impressive and great, but, but they don't match up to today, John. Not because you're only getting married, but because who you're getting married to. Somebody that's gonna help empower you and strengthen you, I know you'll do the same for her. And Stephanie, if I had a sister, I'd want her to be, uh, I'd want her to be just like you. A little bit of toast and a prayer to John and Stephanie that, um, that God may always walk with you. You may always hear you whenever the world gets so loud and, and then he may bless you with the gifts of grace, patience, and everlasting love. I love you both and best of luck. You now embark on your next mission, which is simply to keep each other happy, very happy for the rest of your lives. <laughs>